Team Fortress 2 is an old game designed to run on old hardware. This made TF2 one of the easiest games to run, but difficult to get a lot of frames per second because how the game engines handle stuff. Especially with modern PCs, it doesn't matter if you have RTX 4090 or GTX 1060, most likely you will be limited by your single core score of your CPU. Except with a recent update to the game, the game's engine was updated to 64 bits and some optimizations were made. I was curious, so I did some benchmarks. Using the Shonix benchmark files, I was able to get a noticeable uplift in performance. Before the update, I was getting about 107 FPS. After the update, running with 64 bits, I'm getting 130 FPS. Also, you can still launch the game with 32 bits. That also gets more FPS than the old TF2. So this new update gives you anywhere between 5 to 25% more FPS. These benchmark results were for a normal 24 player match. If you benchmark with 100 players, you can see that between old TF2 and near 32 bit TF2, there is no performance uplift. Meanwhile, 64 bits bring the game up to nearly 70 FPS. This means TF2 was indeed bottlenecked by the memory and allowing the game to use more RAM just made clear differences over 32 bits. In short, this update simply improves FPS for nearly everyone. If you have a really old PC with limited amount of RAM, results might be different. This whole time, Team Fortress 2 was running on 32 bits, which is a technology from 1985. 64 bits allows more memory to be used, which in return, CPU is able to do more work. When TFT first came out, the game didn't really have much going on. No unusuals, no has, barely any weapons. But when you play TFT today, pretty much everyone has cosmetics, paints and uh, war paints. It is hard to tell who is who. Just look at this unusual effect. That sniper looks like a light bulb. Raise the head. Also, with newer maps, we have seen memory related crashes where the game would shit its pants when the map simply used too much memory. There are still some more improvements could be done, but for now, this is a great update. Oh, before ending the video, there is also Vulcan Sport. Team Fortress 2 used to only run with DirectX, which is a graphics API. It lets your software communicate with your graphics card to draw stuff on your screen. TFT uses DirectX 9, which is really old, but this update brings Vulkan, which is much newer. Van benchmark with Shonix 24 player demo, Vulkan gets 15 FPS less than DirectX 9.5, but this doesn't mean that Vulkan should be overlooked at. I am using Windows 11 and a Nvidia graphics card with a different operating system such as Linux and a graphics card like Intel Arc GPU, Vulkan can get more FPS. Probably in the future, older graphics APIs like DirectX 9 might stop getting any driver support. With Vulkan, we can expect future graphics cards to keep running TF2, which is uh, good news. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope this video was informational. I would like to hear about what you think. Does the game run faster for you as well? Make sure to leave a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.